Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another thrift shop and flea market finds. This is volume 6. If you've not seen the other five volumes that I've done of thrift shop and flea market finds series, I will put the playlist up in the right. Go check them all out. Uh, this is just a series I do where I save up um, everything that I get from the thrift shop and flea markets over a period of time. And when it gets built up good enough, I do a video. This is built up tremendously here. Um... It's been a long time since I've done a thrift shop and flea market finds video, and I've been getting a lot of stuff lately, so I have a lot to show off in this one, so um, I don't know. We'll, bear with me, and hopefully we'll get through this uh, rather quickly. I'll try not to spend too much time on any certain thing and kind of go through it pretty quick because there is a lot of stuff. Um, a couple things that I wanted to kick it off here with a bang here. I know a lot of people have been seeing these lately. Um, all my showcase reviews and stuff in the background over here. Um, and you can see that they're missing right now um, if you've watched my videos lately. But uh, yeah, this triple action Spider-Man I picked up for like really cheap. He was like a dollar. Um, this is from 2014, The Amazing Spider-Man. With great power. And you can see he talks. Oh, that's a face. Only a mother he says quite a few things. I, I was kind of surprised at how much he says. Yeah, he still works. Um, you can still pick these up rather, uh, cheaply, 10 or so offline, but, um, yeah, I thought it was cool to get for a dollar. And then the other thing, yeah, you can see it has a web slinging action too. And if you move his arm there and flip it up, it does a different thing every time on the arm too. So I'm a big fan of Marvel and, uh, he's 10 inches tall as well. So very cool looking figure there. Um, the next one that I picked up is also a Marvel figure, um, and he's 10 inches, well, he's about 12 or 14 inches, it looks like, compared to the Spider-Man, but, um, uh, it's the Titan Hero Series, um, Winter Soldier, loose, and it's funny, because these really don't come with any weapons that I saw, um, but I picked a weapon up in a past video that I store with him on the, uh, shelf over there that he can hold on to, it's this bigger machine gun here and uh, he can't really hold on to it too well in that handle so I just hold it by the clip there but uh, he looks cooler when he's got like a gun in his hand in my opinion they don't put any weapons or anything these are pretty basic figures with zero articulation you can pick one of these up um, in box for like 10 bucks online so yeah pretty cool though to have a representation of um, Winter Soldier there in my collection I'll put them over to the side you can see they are rather tall pretty cool figures um, and now I'm just gonna keep going through all these little mini figures well here's a uh, statue it looks like a garden type statue that you would see at like Dollar General or something and yeah you can see an old uh, sticker there and I think it was like it says 10 bucks on it I don't know but it's a rather worn statue of uh, Minnie Mouse and anybody knows me I'm a big fan of Marvel and a big fan of Disney um, so anything Disney or Marvel that I find cheap, and I got this for like 50 cents or something, just ridiculous. So I had to pick that up, so we'll put her over there in the background by the other Marvel figs. Give me a little bit bigger area here to work with, but that was rather cool to get a hold of to add to my Disney collection. Now I have a bunch of like mini figures, um, and a lot of them have to do with Disney, but I'm not going to go in any certain order. Whatever I pull out here, I pull out. Um, these were cool. These were the Snow White um, and the Seven Dwarves, like, I don't know, it's like some kind of collector series here. You can see on the bottom of this one, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, uh, Disney Applause Special Edition, um, and they both say that on the bottom. Um, there's Snow White, riding with her love there on the horse, I thought was cool. The prince and um, here is uh, snow uh, the seven dwarves from Snow White you can see dopey on the top and I thought that's a cool little figure representation of each of them um, I didn't have either of these obviously uh, picked these up for rather cheap too I thought they were very cool and you can sit them by each other and uh, see Snow White and the uh, along with the seven dwarves there I'm um, always one of my favorites as a kid. Um, so, still a big fan of anything Disney, as I already said, with the uh, Minnie Mouse there. But, um, 
yeah, I was really happy to get a hold of those. So we'll put those back there. Um, here's a little Disney Pixar Triceratops, and I'm not 100% sure what movie this comes from. Uh, had to be something involving dinosaurs, or maybe even like Toy Story or something. Um, found that, though, and you can see, uh, if it zooms in here, Disney Pixar there on the bottom, China. So I was happy to grab that. Um, here's another Disney one that I grabbed, and it's a McDonald's toy of um, Hercules. And um, I don't remember what year exactly it said this was from. Um, it has Disney on the back. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, that is a McDonald's toy. So, um, Pretty cool little representation of Hercules there with this sword, I thought. Has articulation in the arms and... Uh, a little bit in the uh, waist. Don't look like the legs really move or anything. The head does not move, even though it's um, movable. It's pretty stiff there. But I didn't have a little figure of Hercules like that in the collection of the minifigs. So pretty cool. Um, I can't remember what these were called right off the top of my head, but some designer, um, our famous doll designer or something, they made a series of Wizard of Oz figs based on her dolls. And I just can't quite remember what it is right now. I should have looked it up before the video, but it's got this nice soft goods cape. This is a Scarecrow. Scarecrow, one of my favorite um, characters from the Wizard of Oz. Big fan of that movie. Um, and I like this little representation of the Scarecrow. Look like a little baby Scarecrow. China doll Scarecrow. So that's pretty cool to get a hold of. I have a bunch of these that my daughter had back in the day. Um, some of them I still have in the package that McDonald's did, so I need to see if I can find all those and probably open them up and make a display. Here's a little, like, wind-up gorilla that I found, and since I'm a King Kong fan and stuff, I decided that, you know, might as well pick this up, and he does move there, as you can see him walk. I thought it was pretty cool. He does go a lot faster than that, but I don't have two hands here holding the camera to, uh, wind him up real good and I didn't really find a stamp or anything of what he was from but nonetheless pretty cool silver back gorilla thing there um here's a little strawberry shortcake uh, McDonald's toy from like 2008 and I you know I'm a big fan of anything 80s and strawberry shortcake came from the 80s so I had to have a little representation of her in the collection when I saw that so I grabbed that and picked it up um, I swear these were like back in the day from McDonald's, but I can't find any stamp on it other than like just a few and they're really hard to read, but I swear they made big pills that looked like this in McDonald's back in the day and I'm in the uh, Halloween vibe and this is obviously like a small representation of a Halloween uh, pill there for candy. Thought that was cool and this is another Halloween style pill. It has the cat on it, Cheshire Cat. Thought was pretty cool. And it's made in metal form like a real little bucket here. Um, so I had to grab those two when I saw them. Thought they were pretty neat. Put them over here on the side. So picking up quite the uh, additions to my collections here. Uh, here's a little uh, Cowboy Pig, Angry Birds toy. And anything like... Uh, cartoon related or anything small figs I usually try to pick them up and he's got the uh, action there where he winds the lassos I kind of like the angry birds the movie was uh, pretty good for kids anyway I have the uh, pig helmet pig angry bird over there on my um, booth here where I got all my stickers you can see kind of got blurry there this is from the movie home um, they made these toys at McDonald's for the movie Home in 2015. And uh, th they all had like talking actions or something and lit up, I think. But uh, they're not working really good. But uh, I found these at the thrift shop. And uh, you can't go wrong with grabbing any of these McDonald's toys from movies. And here's a couple others. This one looking in the mirror. And um, another alien here. So three different aliens I picked up in this one. So can't go wrong with that from the movie Home. I've never saw it, but um, I'm sure it's pretty cool for kids. 
Um, not one of the most popular because I don't hear about it much. And here's one of those um, little, what they call these, beanie boos from Thai. This is Spike that McDonald's did. Uh, my horn is stuck on the tip of my nose, so it if it falls off, I know where it goes. <laughs> That's what it says on there. But you can see there. Um, yeah, McDonald's gave these out. This is birthday, August 13th, too. So You can see there, 2017 tie. They were giving these out in Happy Meals and stuff. Pretty sure. have a whole bag of these things from the last thrift shop from Flea Market find that I did. Um, here's another Halloween inspired buy. It's this uh, cool looking uh, witch candle, which is really old looking too. It's really wore out and stuff, but they had it there for 25 cents. And the bottom of it, it doesn't have a date or anything, but instructions for the candle and stuff, but it just looked like an old candle and I'm into witches and stuff, so that's pretty cool find for the Halloween section over there. Um, man, just got a bunch of stuff in these buckets, and I'll show the buckets here soon. Have a uh, small gorilla-looking figure here, and this is also Disney as well, um, as I remember finding the stamp on him, and it said uh, Disney on it somewhere, but I can't remember now, but maybe he's not, but you can see he's like a pencil topper or something. Got this hole in the bottom. Not sure what he's from. Any help? Let me know. But I like gorillas, like I said, and King Kong and stuff. And you can see back here. Yeah. So, had to pick him up and we'll set him over by the silver back. Um, also, um, there's a big story on uh, Toys R Us going bankrupt lately. So, I had to grab this. Um, there's the truck portion of it. It says Champion on the side and stuff. The best team. But it uh, has this trailer. That attaches to it and it's none other than Toys R Us you can see I got that for 25 cents the whole truck and I love Toys R Us man always have as like as a kid and still do to this day and it's sad to see that they're declaring bankruptcy and possibility of them going down for good and that would not be cool in my opinion every kid needs to experience Toys R Us I need to get that 25 cent sticker off the top here in a bit but uh that'll be cool looking you know setting up next to my toys just to remind everybody of the good old days when you could go to Toys R Us and it was just a magical experience. And um, I really wish that the toys would get back to the way they were in the 80s that made it like that, but probably never will. Um, so that little semi and trailer was cool to get. Uh, here's a little Mickey Mouse uh, plush ball here. Leather little ball. Not sure where this is from. But it has the Disney stamp on it. Design wear is what it says. Um, I don't think that... Uh, probably it doesn't have a year on it or anything. But uh, not sure where it's from. It does have the Disney stamp on the tag too though. So it's official. Anything Disney I like to pick up to add to my Disney collection. So Got it for probably cents. Um, here's a cool Minion toy. That I picked up. I have another Minion too. That's uh, up with my figures. I might have it in one of these buckets, but I'm not sure. I thought I did, but I guess not. But I've already showed him off in my past thrift shop and flea market finds. He's got a button on the back, too, but gotta love the minions. Um, I'm gonna put him over here by Angry Bird Cowboy Pig here. So, yeah, good array of stuff so far. And uh, I already had this one from my last find. And, uh, from the Chipmunks, everybody knows them, but uh, I found another version of them with his hands up, so, gotta love it, pretty sure that's Theodore, but I might be wrong, yeah, I might be wrong, I don't know, um, here is, uh, I'm thinking of a lot right now, here is Anakin Skywalker with his blue lightsaber. And it's a little, like, clip deal. You can clip onto your bag or whatever you got. And everybody knows I'm a big Star Wars fan. Got him for $0.10, cents, you can see. Pretty sure he was a McDonald's toy. Yep, made for McD's, 2010. So, looks like a little Clone Wars version of uh, Anakin, actually, that they did. 
So very cool on that. Um, speaking of McDonald's toys, I got a lot of that to go through, but here's some that I got out of a machine the other day. Just Wonder Woman head and uh, Batman head. Thought I might as well show them off. Inside, they have a little body here, made in China. So, you know, at first I thought that the ball head went on top there, but it doesn't. So, I'm not sure if there are heads in there or something that uh, go on top of these, but I'm going to try to find out. And uh, the Wonder Woman one has a Wonder Woman body in it. So I need to get the heads for these somehow. But uh, very cool there, I thought. Put them back in the balls later here. They're kind of hard to deal with right now with one hand. Um, here's one of the buckets that I got. Halloween Pels, whatever you want to call it. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Anybody knows I'm a huge Charlie Brown fan. And McDonald's did these buckets for it. Um, June 2016, it says on the bottom there. 2016, McDonald's says on the side there. Love this. Love it. We try to display this somehow because I love Charlie Brown and the Peanuts. So that was cool. Um, and it's got like, yeah, the top there. Little scenery on it. With, char with the characters. Just now noticed that. That's pretty cool. Snoopy up there and everything. So uh, now I'm getting into the McDonald's toy stuff. I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, these are pretty much, well, other than this stuff, I don't think these are McDonald's toys. But maybe. Um, the Page Master with Macaulay Culkin. Anybody remember that movie? This is a 1994 figure from that movie. Um, Page Master. I hope I got that title of the movie right. But you see on the bottom here, um, 1994, applause. Um, same company that made the uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs there. So they do a lot of these little figurines like this. And I thought that was pretty cool to get a little version, cartoonish version of Macaulay Culkin. And Page Master. It's a, it's a different type of movie. I forgot what these are called. They're from Burger King. I don't know if it's the Kids Club thing or what these guys are. They got the... Uh, but he's got a little action where he can become a car here. So it's kind of cool. And he actually has the action there and everything. But I prefer keeping him up in that form. Picked him up because he is a Burger King toy. But I just forgot... You know, it's got the Burger King logo on his back. I think it may be from the Burger King's Kids Club or something like that. Um, but on the bottom, you can see Burger King. It's got a marking on it, too. So I just can't remember what these are from. Anybody knows, help me out. Um, these were cool. All uh, Disney-related. You've got uh, a cool car here that I'm not sure... It's Disney, but it's Amblin. It's not, I think that this may be from Disney World itself or Disneyland. Um, this is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Looks rather old. And if you hold it up to the light and look inside, which is very cool because I can catch it on camera here, you can see a scene of Disneyland in there. So this comes from Disneyland, I'm pretty sure, now that I look inside and remember. But Who Framed Roger Rabbit, one of my favorite um, movies of all time. I have it on VHS. haven't got the DVD of it. Um, but it doesn't have a year on this or anything, but I'm thinking rather old on it. They had it in a bag there for pretty cheap, I think 25 cents with a couple other things here I'm going to show you. Um, but very cool, and he's riding the tune car there, the tune cab. Um, so very cool Roger Rabbit find. Um, the next few here. I'm pretty sure these are from the show Tellspin. And you've got um, Tiger Dude here in there. I remember these as a kid. So I'm not sure if these are, it says Disney on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure these were like from maybe Happy Meals or something. But maybe out of cereal as well. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot the name of this guy. But I know he is from um, Tellspin. Um... But also, we have Launchpad McQuack here. 
So I love this, man. And on the bottom of him, it just says Disney China. So these might be like toys that came out of cereal back in the 90s. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's from Telspin. I think he was on Rescue Rangers too um, as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, Launchpad McQuack. And I just can't remember the name of that guy. Should have looked these up before, but I forgot. You know, after a while, you kind of forget that you even have them stored up. You forget to do a little background check on them. So I may be totally wrong on those, but uh, pretty sure those are from Tailspin. Um, anyway, here is a very cool one of the McDonald's changeables or whatever they called them. From back in the day, they were like transforming little guys. So this actually just opened up. No, these weren't one of the changeables. This was actually, I don't know. You could fold his arms in here and his legs. So I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I remember him as a kid in McDonald's. Um, Happy Mills. You can see he's got the McDonald's cap on and everything. And it was a very cool vintage find. Because I remember these. Um, the date on here, mm, 2000, or wait a minute, can't say 2000, 1993. So I was 11 years old. So I can't remember. I know they were after the uh, changeables. Um, but uh, not 100% sure what they're called. But pretty cool nonetheless. He's obviously a steak. T-bone steak. Um, but that's a very cool find. And also for McDonald's, this lunch pail here. This is a Minions lunch pail. Um, pirates on the side. And wow, 22 minutes in. We're going rather lengthy on this, but you're going to have to bear with me. But 2015 in Evansville, Indiana. Yeah, this may be one of the longer thrift shop flea market finds videos I've done, but we're getting into it. We're getting into it now. Um, here are also McDonald's toys that I found. This was the old 1994 movie Flintstones. Um, this is, speaking of Toys R Us, this was Toys Asaurus. So, Toys Asaurus. Um, and they came with these little buildings, but also inside they'd have characters that came in there. I just knocked the side right off there. It's supposed to just clamp in there and uh, go off, but I don't know. But uh, I have, um, uh, and what's weird here is, let me get this out real quick, is that I actually have in package from Flintstones, the movie that I found, um, Betty and Bam Bam and Rock Donald's. So, um, this is a McDonald's version of something that would be in Bedrock. And you have the stickers there on the side, but I'm not going to open that. I'm going to throw that in my sealed um, McDonald's toys um, box. But I already had the Betty and Bam Bam opened up from that one, and they go right in um, the Toys Asaurus set here that I'm not 100% sure... Um, who was in this. Um, but nonetheless, very cool pickup. I'm going to have to fix that here in a second here. Well, maybe I can fix it with one hand. Let's see. Oh, I already did. Well, maybe not. But I'm trying to get this back on so everybody can see. Yeah, there we go. That it just lifts up like that. And the car can go right inside there. With one hand, it's kind of hard to do, but... They store inside there, clamp it shut. So I have two of these uh, Flintstones 1994 the movie um, places. Now I'm not going to open this one, the Rock Donalds. I have Toys R Source and Rock Donalds, but um, these are really cool to go in my Happy Mill toy collection. Was very happy when I found this. Couldn't believe it actually. Look at that dollar fifty instantly off a of cuddly soft pebbles, cuddly soft Bam Bam or soft Dino doll. Cool. That would have been cool to have. Big fan of the Flintstones. Um, and here's another bucket. Another Minions bucket that I had there. 
This is more of the hippies on the side. I'm pretty sure these were all made around Halloween time. So kids could have buckets for Halloween after they ate their Happy Meal. Pretty cool for kids that are like in need and stuff. So, And also here is um, the last Happy Meal related toy. And it's Birdie and her garage and her house, obviously. It looks like a garage, but it's supposed to be her house. And I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what year. 1993 as well. So pretty cool there. Pretty dusty. I need to clean this one off. This one's dusty. But uh, came with this little birdie in her car. A big fan of McDonald, uh, Ronald McDonald and all the characters there that they had back in the day for McDonald's. Uh, birdie, one of the main ones. So it's cool to have her house. When I saw this too, I was like, this is awesome. This just brings back so much memories. All these toys do. Um, so very cool additions to my little minifigure toy collection there. And the last uh, Disney related, well they're not figure, they're, they're figurines, but they're ornaments for Christmas. And they know me because look at this, it says For Jeff. And um, yeah, uptown at the thrift shop, they saved these back for me because they knew I'm a big Disney fan and a big uh, Winnie the Pooh fan as well. And look at that. These will be awesome on my tree for Christmas. Winnie picking out on some uh, honey. And uh, it says do not open till Christmas, but obviously when it comes to honey, Winnie Pooh, Winnie the Pooh has a weakness. And then this other Winnie the Pooh ornament that they saved me of um, him inside of a wreath, Christmas wreath there. Very cool. Um, I don't know what they, it takes 25 cents. Got a little bell on his ankle. It's like secured there too. Can't take it off. Pretty cool, man. These are sweet. I was really happy that they grabbed these. Or allowed me the chance to pick these up before anybody else. And then um, also have Sylvester and Tweety here ornament. Which I thought was the best of the three. He's got Tweety in the cage. And uh, he's dressed as Santa. So maybe he's gonna go do some uh, give that give Tweety away as a gift to somebody. Um, and it says on the side, uh, what's that say? To Granny Sylvester. So, but he has Granny X out. I'm not sure if I can get a good uh, zoom on that, but there we go. You can kind of see it now. Pretty cool ornaments here, and they're made in like ceramic. They're not plastic or rubber or anything they're actually ceramic nicely made ornaments um very cool very cool really enjoyed getting these so we're almost 30 minutes in here and i'm still not done also i picked up this halloween inspired by uh it was a bust of frankenstein himself and if you've not saw those solar dancing characters i'd had a frankenstein one in there and i cranked him out and showed him because they have Frankenstein on here. He's known as Frankenstein's monster. He's not Frankenstein, but everybody thinks that. He's got some wear on his nose. Not really a chip, but just uh, looks like some wear there, but maybe some chipping going on. Wish I could... I don't know. I'm not going to really touch him up, but uh, don't know what year this is from, but it looks rather old. Um, but it's a complete bust of Frankenstein. And being a Frankenstein fan... That is so awesome. So awesome. Um, some other Halloween-inspired buys. Obviously, were some Halloween masks that I found in there. First of all, Stormtrooper mask. Um, I don't even know a year or anything on these. I couldn't find them. On this one, this one at least. But very cool. I'm going to hang that up some way and display it with my Star Wars collection. I got these for like a dollar a piece or maybe cheaper. And then a Mandalorian uh, warrior mask here. And I think this one actually had a stamp on it. And it does. And I can't barely read it. 2009 Lucasfilms. Ruby's Costume Company. Authorized user. Made in China. So it's from Ruby's Costume Company. I don't know if this came with the whole costume or what, but... 
Mandalorian warrior helmet there. And a Stormtrooper helmet there. Face masks for Halloween. They're both made out of hard plastic too. Very cool finds there. Couldn't pass it up. And then the, the other mask that I couldn't pass up for sure was the Raphael mask from the Ninja Turtles. And I don't show my face that often. But when I do, I'm usually in a Raphael mask, so... Oh yeah, Cowabunga! Gotta love it. I might have to use that this Halloween for some people. Answering the door. Um, here is a very cool, like, uh, sad clown, hobo clown doll. And man, this is like a porcelain doll. Like the feet are porcelain, if you can hear that. And he's very fragile. Um, he's made out of what you would see like a standard like doll made out. I thought this was just very cool, man. This is a very like a collector doll. This is not a toy or anything to give a kid or anything. His face is made out of ceramic. I love clowns and this hobo clown just looked so cool to me when I saw it sitting there. I think he was like, I don't know, a dollar or something. And I'm like, I got to save this guy and give him a proper home. Um, not too sure on the origins or anything of this but nonetheless very cool addition to the collection it doesn't stand up so i have to lay them down over there um now here's a few like little well might as well show this off and tonka released these back in the day as you can see here and i don't know an actual year but these were launched in the 80s and i remember having this very one as a kid and he's none other than a pound puppy You've never heard of pound puppies. They were all designed like this, and you can see next to these figures, they are not really big stuffed animals, um, but they were kind of like you know just small stuffed animals that kids could like collect all of them and sleep with or whatnot, or I even play with. Uh, me and my, I remember like I had a bunch of these in uh, like around where I slept and everything when I was a kid. I always kept them in my bed with me and stuff. These pound puppies when I was real little. Uh, my sisters had these too, um, but I remember I had this actual bulldog because I thought, you know, as a boy, I'm like, I want the, I want the bulldog looking one or whatever the hell this is. Looks like a bulldog to me. But pound puppies were a cool um, vintage line of uh, plushes that people really don't remember from the '80s, and uh, maybe one day they'll make a comeback. But everyone had this classic pound puppy st stamp on the uh, rear end here. And made by Tonka. So yeah, go look those up. The eyes were hard on them and the nose, but everything else was just plush. So, gotta love pound puppies. Uh, next, um, I have this. Uh, I'm gonna grow this too here. I'm gonna do a grow video just like I did for my grow a zombie, which I'll put that up in the right. My classic grow a zombie vid that I did. Um, 